we're discussing weapons transitions. If you're in a building and you have to crawl up into an attic or something to look for a suspect, you want to transition to your pistol, that's really not the transitions we're talking about here. In that specific instance, what you would do is put your safety on, sling your weapon across your back or however you want to do it, or have your buddy hold your rifle while you drew your pistol and went up and cleared, cleared the attic. What we're talking about here is your primary weapon system. It goes dry, you have a malfunction, whatever it might be, and uh, you have to get your pistol out as quick as you can to eliminate that threat. So let's talk about the way to do that. There's a couple different ways to train for this transition. First of all, what I want to demonstrate is simply a dry weapon transition. So what I have here is I have a weapon that's unloaded. I'm going to come up, I'm going to squeeze the trigger, I'm going to get a click. That's the indicator that tells me, uh-oh, I got something wrong, I've got to get my pistol out, my secondary weapon system. So that drill would look something like this. Shooter ready. Up. Once I'm done with that, I holster my pistol, pistol, I recycle the bolt on my weapon, safety goes back on, dust cover closed, and I'm ready to do it again. So I start with a completely unloaded weapon, I'm actually dropping the hammer. Don't just come up and say, oh, the weapon's empty in transition. You got to squeeze the trigger, which gives you that indicator that there's a click, and now it's time to transition. If that happens with your weapon, just like it would with the malfunction, the hammer's going to be forward. You should make an attempt to sweep the weapon onto safe. But if the hammer's forward and you have a properly functioning uh, M4 or AR-15 base platform, your weapon won't go on safe. So make an attempt to sweep it on safe. If it's not on safe, uh, you're still going to get that weapon down and get the pistol out. And we've talked in some of our other videos about the fastest way to transition. That's not what this is about. I just want to talk about training for the transition. Okay, the second method that we can use <clears throat> for training for the transition is, is to take a magazine. What we're going to do is we're going to load one round into our weapon. Once I've done that, I take that magazine out place it back into my, my pocket or my pouch there. So now what's going to happen, I'm going to come up on target, I'm going to get a bang. Well, I know there's no other round in there, so sh should I transition? Absolutely not. We don't transition simply because we think the weapon's dry. We transition after the bolt has went forward, we squeeze the trigger and we get a click. So bang, click, transition. This is something that a lot of our students screw up when we're training. Bang, click, transition. It's a safe way to do a transition drill. S still attempt to sweep that weapon up onto safe. It'll look something like this right here. Ready, up. So I got a bang, a click, and then I transitioned to my pistol. So bang, click, transition. Now we're going to conduct the drill as though we have a fully loaded weapon. So what's going to happen now? Either a malfunction or I'm going to shoot the weapon dry. If I shoot the weapon dry, don't look at your weapon and assess the situation. If, you're, if your rifle's not working and you're this close to a threat, by all means, start slinging lead with your pistol. That's what we've got to do. We don't want to assess the situation. At night, you won't be able to tell anyway, so we might as well train as though it's night all the time. So I'm going to take the, uh, the weapon, load it, load it all the way up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot until I have a malfunction or my weapon goes dry. If my weapon goes dry, of course, I'm going to conduct a transition as well. Ready, up. As you can see, I fired my weapon dry, empty magazine, and I made my transition. The reason I say this is I've, I've heard some disturbing stories about some of the drills that folks do, and I just wanted to show you a safe way to, to conduct those drills. If you're going from rifle to pistol to rifle to pistol, back and forth, back and forth, as fast as you can with loaded weapons, that's, that's a pretty unrealistic drill. Is it good for weapons manipulation? <laughs> Absolutely, but it's very unrealistic. So a more realistic way to do that would be Set your weapons up with minimal rounds, with dummy rounds, uh, with one round in the chamber, no magazine in the weapon, or simply a dry rifle, and work on your transitions. All right, hopefully you got something out of that. Be safe when you're out there working on these transitions. If you have questions about what I, what I mean by this, please uh, drop us a comment on our YouTube page, and we'll, we'll try to get back to you. But uh, 
train safe out there when you're doing this. This is when people have accidents. All right, thanks a lot. We'll see you out there on the range.